Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, I want to introduce a package for making electrical sparks between point A to point B, for example, between two points with uh, different heights or in the same level. We will have some sparks between two uh, points. Okay. First, we should take a look at this package. Uh, Spectral Lighting had been released by Kajero eight years ago. You just need to download the zip of this pack and uh, project and import the assets folder into your projects folder. Or even you can double click on this Spectral Lighting.unity package and import this package into your projects folder. But I prefer to uh, add this assets folder. Okay, I already did it. And here, spectral lighting, uh, there is a test scene here, we can check the, this effect put together. First, look at this, uh, if we we'll click on lighting, there is two points, uh, emitter, look at this, and receiver, this is the second. So. If you want to have these sparks around this, uh, you know, object, so you will put these points here. But if you want, you can change. Put anywhere you want. Look at this. And here, you can change the parameters, but uh, I just want to play the scene first show you what is going on after that well, let me do something like this it is better now okay after that we can change the parameters look at this it is truly beautiful excellent now we can change the parameters together one by one. Remember, if you want to change the parameters, you need to disable this uh, tester component because it's uh, you know, control the parameters here. First, uh, we, uh, we showed how we can change the emitter and receiver position. If you want, I can show you as well. Look at this and here. And throttle. Look at this. It's a kind of velocity uh, or dens density, uh, density of the, the sparks. Look at this. Maybe, or something like this. And here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, sorry. And change the pulse interval. Look at this. It's a kind of uh, the speed of sparks. If you say um, no, the higher number, it will be more powerful and stable on your effect. But if you change it to a lower number, it will be faster. Let's come back to the normal one. And here, bolt length. Look at this. If I make it. The lengths of the sparks are really short, but with this guy, they are really tall, long, sorry. And here, the length randomness, it's a kind of just, you, uh, you decrease the velocity of the uh, randomness of uh, sparks, so they will start in one, in one point to the one point, but in here, you will have more random random positions and random effects okay and in here you can change the color look at this that's a beautiful uh, for example the green or yellow but in fact the correct color for this guy is it's a kind of white and here we can change the noise amplitude. Look at this. This is more expanded than just the line of this between uh, two points. When it here, we will say, okay, keep them in one area. 
and noise frequency. Look at this. What? It's not beautiful actually. <laughs> the default number is better. And noise motion. Okay, and the random seed. Look at this. We can change the amount of uh, sparks. Okay. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Don't hesitate to ask any question related to Unity, AR, VR, and XR. Subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it. Have a great time. Bye-bye.